Climate change refers to long-term shifts in temperature and weather patterns. These shifts may be natural, such as through variations in the solar cycle. But since the 1800s, human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to burning fossil fuels. Current problems are the negative impacts of climate change, such as extreme temperatures, droughts, heavy precipitation, stronger storms and rising sea levels. The global surface temperature has already risen 1.09 degrees Celsius compared to the pre-industrial period as a result of increased emissions of greenhouse gas from human activities. If human-induced global warming continues at this rate, it is estimated that global surface temperature could rise as high as 4.4 degrees by 2100. Unless the appropriate and adequate measures are taken, there will be higher risks of devastating impact on the world's economy and society caused by increased extreme weather events. Climate change is a threat that affects the stability, prosperity and human security of every region and country in the world. Developing countries are particularly vulnerable to the effects of climate change. People's livelihoods and national development is threatened by it. As a partner of developing countries, JICA aims to tackle this issue together. Responding to climate change involves a two-pronged approach, mitigation and adaptation. Mitigation refers to efforts to reduce emissions and enhance carbon sinks. Some of the examples of mitigation are introduction of renewable energy technologies, updating equipment and facilities for energy efficiency, introduction of public transportation systems that lead to alleviation of traffic and modal shift to a more sustainable transportation, and measures to combat deforestation and forest degradation for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Adaptation refers to efforts to adapt to the climate change that is already happening and may happen in the future. Some of the examples of adaptation are reduction of climate-related disaster risk, introduction of agricultural technologies suited to rising temperatures and changing precipitation patterns, improvement of water resource management system and development of new water resources to ensure water security. Since COP26 in 2021, in addition to the two approaches of mitigation and adaptation, a third approach, loss and damage, is being addressed. Loss and damage can generally be understood as the negative impacts of climate change that occur despite or in the absence of mitigation and adaptation, and there is an urgent need to address them. At COP27, establishment and operationalization of a loss and damage fund was decided. A transitional committee on the operationalization of the new funding arrangements was established to make recommendations to be considered and adopted by COP28 in 2023. The government of Japan also announced the assistance package for averting, minimizing and addressing loss and damage in November 2022, which will provide comprehensive assistance for loss and damage. International agreements on climate change measures include Sustainable Development Goals, the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, and the Paris Agreement. Sustainable Development Goal SDG Goal 13 aims to combat climate change and its impacts by taking urgent action. The Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction is an international guideline for disaster risk reduction through 2030. The concept of investing in disaster risk reduction to minimize damage from disasters presented in the guidelines will strengthen resilience to disasters, including those caused by climate change. The Paris Agreement, adopted in 2015 at COP21, is a legally binding international treaty on climate change, 
defining how countries will implement their commitments after 2020. For the first time in history, all parties to the treaty have agreed to participate in climate change efforts. Its long-term goal is to hold the increase in the global average temperature to well below 2 degrees and pursue efforts to limit it to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels and reduce emissions to reach carbon neutrality or net zero by 2050. A global carbon neutrality will be achieved when the sum of anthropogenic emissions and removals across all countries, sectors, sources and sinks reaches zero. Also, in order to reach net zero by 2050, a number of countries have committed to eventually stop using unabated coal-fired power generation. To achieve the goals of the Paris Agreement, Japan has set a long-term goal of reducing overall greenhouse gas emissions to net zero by 2050 and a mid-term goal of 46% emission reduction below fiscal year 2013 levels in fiscal year 2030. In addition to conventional reduction efforts, innovative technologies are also envisioned to achieve this goal. JICA has established the JICA Global Agenda, which are 20 strategies for global development issues that are categorized in four areas. Prosperity People Peace and planet. With the mission of advancing both human security and quality growth, and aims to further increase development impacts through partnerships and co-creation with various partners. Climate change is the 16th strategy. JICA's global agenda on climate change aims to contribute to the achievement of international goals such as the Paris Agreement, and building sustainable and resilient societies through strengthening capacity development of partner countries to respond to climate change and promoting co-benefits that pursue both development issues and climate change measures. Under Global Agenda on Climate Change, JICA has established two clusters to contribute on building sustainable and climate resilient societies in partner countries promote the implementation of the Paris Agreement Cluster and co-benefits of Climate Change Cluster. Greenhouse gas emissions in developing countries are increasing due to economic and population growth, but in many cases, countries do not have sufficient financial, technological and technical capacity to implement commitments stipulated in the Paris Agreement, such as greenhouse gas emissions reduction and strengthening of their adaptation capacity. Therefore, promote the implementation of the Paris Agreement Cluster promotes climate change measures in developing countries through capacity development for the formulation, implementation and monitoring of various plans such as NDCs, NAPs, BTRs, as well as strengthening the institutional capacity of organizations working on climate change issues. An example of cooperation under this cluster is the project in Indonesia. In Phase 1 of the project, JICA contributed to the implementation of climate change policies by the central and local governments in Indonesia by supporting the Ministry of National Development Planning, National Development Agency to develop a framework to promote climate change measures and in Phase 2 by ensuring the policies and plans are properly implemented and monitored. Under co-benefits of Climate Change Cluster, JICA aims to build a carbon-neutral and climate-resilient society by implementing both mitigation and adaptation measures in its efforts to resolve development issues. It is important to consider co-benefits that contribute to climate change as well as solving development issues. As an example of cooperation under this cluster, JICA supported the construction of Underground Mass Rapid Transport System in Delhi, India. It promoted modal shift from automobiles to metros, alleviating traffic, reducing air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions, thereby contributing to the economic revitalization and environmental improvement. Another example is the Pasig Marikina River Channel Improvement Project in the Philippines, 
this project mitigated flood damage caused by channel overflow of Pasig Marikina River by implementing river channel improvement and formulating hazards maps. This project contributed to strengthen the resilience towards climate-related disaster, the stabilization of the livelihood and sustained functions of the critical infrastructures. JICA has established a JICA Climate Finance Impact Tool for mitigation and adaptation, JICA Climate Fit, to estimate greenhouse gas reductions, assess climate risks and consider adaptation measures, thereby promoting mainstreaming of climate change measures. This document provides guidance and ensures that climate actions are considered during the project designing process. In addition, Projects must be conducted in accordance with the guidelines for environmental and social considerations. Projects that are expected to generate more than a certain amount of greenhouse gas are required to estimate and disclose the total amount of greenhouse gas emissions before the project implementation. JICA also uses external funds to combat climate change. The Green Climate Fund is a multilateral fund that aims to assist developing countries in adaptation and mitigation practices to counter climate change. JICA was one of the first Japanese organizations to be certified as a GCF's accredited entity, enabling it to implement projects using GCF funds. At this moment, there are two projects approved by GCF to be implemented in the Maldives and Timor-Leste. Many countries across the world are actively working to address the issue of climate change. Under the vision of leading the world with trust, JICA will continue to support a just transition to climate-resilient and carbon-neutral societies for the sustainable development of developing countries in cooperation with various partners.